Floyd. I've got that submarine we talked about. You gotta help me store it for a few days. Floyd, don't go quiet on me or I'll come around and I'll, well, we both know what I'm talking about. Okay, um, all right. The, the bring it around to Pier 400 at the Western Docks. On my way. Look, uh, I'll have a truck to bring you around the warehouse. What's this? The Union man doing an honest day's work? There's nothing honest about this, sir. But this is a dishonest day's work, if ever I've seen one. Hey, we're not hurting anyone. No, but no one except whoever owns that submarine and the, and the mercenary folks on the freighter. Do some research on Meriwether Security Consulting, friend. They'd be on trial for human rights offenses if the U.S. government didn't protect all its contractors from any kind of suit, military or civilian. They're immune from prosecution, and they behave like they are. Murdering, stealing, high on power guns and anabolic steroids. <sighs> Lucky bastards. Look, I don't know about that stuff. Oh, you're right. You don't. Meriwether are employed by the richest, greediest scum on the planet to shit on the poorest and the neediest. So we are going to enjoy shitting on them. Oh, great. Well, look forward to that. Okay, well that's more like it. I'm here. Oh, hmm. It's just down the road. Los Santos Marine, past the shipyards. Is that sub covered properly? It'll be fine if we just get there. Are you being short with me? No, 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 sir. I'm certainly not being short. I'm just not used to this kind of pressure. If you turn a crew onto a score, you gotta be ready for the heat that comes with it. 
I didn't turn anyone on to anything. You threatened and controlled and tricked me. You don't want to cut? Just walk away. I can't walk away. You're robbing my workplace and running the show from my home. You can pull up. Please, be careful. You're sure it'll be okay there? Um, sure. All right. If you're wrong, I'll eat your sweet meats. Now get out of here. Tracy, baby, you called? Yeah, look, Dad, we're worried. I'm worried, too. I really want to see you. Well, I don't want to see you. You need help. Like, serious, serious help. And if you don't get it, you're gonna be killed. Tracy, I love you. But you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I tried, Daddy. That's all I could do. Well, you've made it in the end. Yeah. 
Please, take a seat. Hey, you mind if I don't, Doc? No. Do as you like. Yeah, thanks. Oh, man. Man. Man! You know what, look. I'm just gonna take off. I'm not in the mood for this shit. This fucking bullshit. As you wish, Michael. Can I ask you something, Doc? I mean, you're a wise, kind, know-it-all kind of guy. <laughs> Go ahead. Do you believe in evil? No. No, I don't. I'm a man of science. Evil is a construct made by people who wish to indulge childish fantasies or by people who wish to judge others. It all comes back to the father-mother syndrome, which is what we spent last year on. Yeah, well, you obviously never met my old buddy. And we call him Tony. I thought he was called Trevor. Oh, shit. That's right. I forgot I told you about him. God. Don't, don't worry. Everything you tell me is in strict confidence. Didn't you tell me that if I turned things over, you know, started again, that the universe would find some way to forgive me? Wasn't that you? And have you turned things over? Well, no. I mean, you know, not really. But that's not the point. I mean, I, I wanted to. That is the point. What's been going on exactly, Michael? I think you'll call this a bad relapse. Relapse is a vital part of recovery. <laughs> yeah, that's a hard one to explain. <sighs> the FIB is making me... Let's just say one man's patriotism is another man's atrocity. My old pal Trevor, he's got me stealing nukes or some shit off government contractors. My wife's left me, my kids too. My fucking son drugged me. I tried to kill a yoga teacher. You're giving me facts. You're not telling me how you feel. I worry about your emotional health, Michael. Hmm. Anything else you want to tell me? <sighs> Sometimes I'm fine, Doc, and sometimes I'm a fucking maniac. It's like I'm two different people. You know, I don't like either one of them. I think split personality is the least of your problems. You're deranged. You listen to me, asshole. I never said I was perfect. Hmm. What about your sexual problems, Michael? Well, you know, I... I been a good boy in that regard. I'm making real progress, Doc. We are making progress, Michael. You're finally listening to me. Great. <sighs> if I could just get all these people off my back, Doc, I'd be doing a lot better. Fascinating. You may actually be a rare combination of a sociopath and a deluded psychopath. Either that, or a more classic case of a weak pup who was weaned too soon by an angry mother. What the hell does that mean? It means... that's about all we have time for. I really want you to work on yourself. Think about the person you'd like to be and really obsess about it. Next week, I'll tell you how to become that person. And remember, brother, we're all rowing together. Now, cross that ocean. Oh, by the way, your insurance ran out. Listen, I don't suppose you could pay cash from now on. If I'm hearing correctly, you've clearly got some. Yeah, okay. Close the door on your way out. And buddy, chin up, okay?
damn you, nation! If you got a family, then you got people to protect. I killed a dolphin with one of those. When society's drastic reordering occurs, weapons will be currency and I will be a fucking millionaire. Don't you just want to shoot those gun law protesters in the face? You've racked up some more ammunition rewards points. You know Princess Georgina, that snooty English royal? She and not really. She don't kick it in Chamberlain Hills much. Well, word has it she likes to blaze one for Queen and Country, if you know what I mean. <laughs> There's a deal going down right now. I need you to meet my contact outside Chico's hypermarket. And try not to blow his cover, okay? Alright, man. This one I got. I'll hit you when it's done.
Yo, you Beverly's boy? Shit, I guess I am, huh? They're round back. Heavy security. I'd take a photo from the roof if I was you. Okay, I gotta go. This conversation never happened. Yeah, I got you, homie. It's good. Passion, purple plunder, endless panic, whatever you want. Marvelous. I'll take it all. <laughs> okay. I am on holiday. I mean, apart from a few photo shoots with orphans and cripples. But, like, I could do that in a coma. They really are the same the whole world round, you know? Okay, give me a second, eh? So, like, back in England, my help would, like, totally do this for me. But they're, like, super scared of being arrested and totally banged by scary dudes in U.S. jail, yeah? So, like... <sighs> so ghastly. It's just, it's such a total drag. I mean, the UK taxpayer gives them money to protect me and be my servant, so they should just, like, do what I say. Even if it's, like, lick my shoe or buy me drugs or, like, perform a sex act on my dog, you know? The taxpayer should totally get their money's worth, right? I mean, back when we had an empire, the king could, like, chop people's heads off and stuff, and that was so much better. I mean, the queen is like my granny. You know, it takes hundreds of years of inbreeding to get recessed chin, buck teeth, and snout like nose like mine. I mean, I'm a rare breed. I should be, like, cherished and stuff. Okay, here you go. This should chill you the fuck out. Oh, will one of you apes please pay this poor man? Really, the Secret Service has gone down the pan. <laughs> Thank you, fantastic. I really enjoy meeting the underclass. I'm so relatable in that way. Washed it. Help me, Jesus. <laughs> 